This morning, the FBI is joining the search for potentially dozens of bodies after an Iowa woman came forward claiming her father was a serial killer. We are actively investigating this, and who wouldn't? Authorities are searching an area in Fremont County, Iowa, where a woman, now 53, says as a child she helped her dad, Donald Dean Studi, dispose of up to 70 bodies at the bottom of a well. She claims her father abducted and then killed them over a 30-year period. Most of the victims, she claims, were female sex workers and transients from Omaha. All we have is a woman came forward and told us a story about bodies and a well. Cadaver dogs have started searching the farmland that used to belong to the family. And though the well no longer exists, authorities say the dogs did react to possible human remains. We did bring a couple cadaver dogs. Cadaver dogs looked in there and, uh, or, you know, looked around the area. And they did indicate in the area. I'm not going to say it was right over the well or where, but they did indicate in the area. Studi died in 2013. His daughter tells Newsweek he made a living by smuggling guns and drugs. And according to court records obtained by Newsweek, Studi spent time in prison for larceny and drunk driving. The sheriff says this story has been a rumor for years, but since Studi is no longer alive, he says there was no immediacy to start the search. It's a big mission for a small county. The woman's older sister argues these allegations against her father are not true. Authorities will meet next week to discuss how to best continue the search for possible victims. Andrea Fuji, ABC News, New York.